Yes, hello. A very good morning to all dear students. Okay, my my name is Cikgu, uh, my name is Sir Yuva, or they, they call it Cikgu Yuva here in Malaysia. Okay, I'm a maths teacher in SK Plus Two. Okay, today we will be learning a topic on time. Okay, under time, we'll be focusing on the relationship between week and day, hour and minute, and year with months. Let us proceed to the topic for today. Okay, so today, as I as I'm as I'm going to show you today's topic, we we'll focus on the relationship between week and day, year with month, and minute with seconds. Okay, all right. So um, let me show you the formula that, that that you need to understand for today. Okay, first you have to understand one week equals seven days, one year equals to twelve months, one minute equals sixty seconds, and one hour equals sixty minutes. Okay, right now. Let us see what does it mean by months in a year. Okay. All right. Um, can anyone tell me what is this? Okay. Can anyone tell me what is this? Okay. This is called a calendar. Okay. In a calendar, you can get many type of information. You can get a name, the type of months, the type of days in a week, and also the number of weeks in a month. Okay. So first, firstly. The first month of the year is called January. See January. Okay, January has thirty-one days. Okay, the second month of the year is called February. Okay, now since this is this is a leap year, leap year we have extra one day in the month of February. So as you can see here, in the month of February we have twenty-nine days. A normal year we only February the month of February we only have twenty-eight. This okay. Next, the third month is the month of March. The month of March has about thirty-one days. Okay, okay. The month of April, the fourth month has about thirty days. The next month, the fifth month of the year is the month of May. Month of May has about thirty-one days. Okay, next, the month of June, the sixth month of the year, has thirty days. Okay, now we have to shift to the month of July. The month of July is the seventh month of the year, and it has thirty-one days. Okay, the month of August, the eighth month of the year, has about thirty-one days. The ninth month of the year, September, has about thirty days. The current month, as the uh, the current month of the the current month where when the video is being shoot, where the, this video is being shoot, be being shot, um, is the month of October, the tenth month of the year. And today's day, as the moment of shooting is twentieth um, of October. Okay, so we are in the month of October. The twentieth day in the month of October, and the month of October has about thirty-one days. So, which means we have about another eleven days to the end of the month before Halloween. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, next one. Next month of the year is the month of November. The month, the eleven month of the year. Now, the month of November has about thirty days. And to end the year, the last month of the year, the twelfth month. Is the month of December. Now the month of December is where many people around the world celebrate Christmas. Christmas falls on the twenty fifth of December every year. So we have now completed the months of a year. Okay. So as you can see here, the months of a year has about that. There are about twelve months in a year. Okay. Now let's focus on the current month, the month of October. Okay, so now let's focus on the week, the days in a week. Okay, now what does it mean by what does it mean by a week? Okay, days in a week consists of seven days: Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, so I hope, dear students, I hope you're all clear about days in a week. And months in a year.
Okay, next we will see um, the, the relationship between minute and seconds. Okay, now, over here you can see is the alarm clock. This is called an alarm clock, okay. In an alarm clock, we can see there are three types of needles here, okay. The, the short needle, the medium-sized needle, and the long-moving needle. So, the short needle over here is called the hour needle. The medium-sized needle over here is called the, the minute needle, while the long swiping needle is called the seconds needle, okay? So, as you can see here, the long needle is swiping through the clock face, okay? So, if one complete rotation of the long needle from 12 to 1, to 3, to 4, to 5, to 6, back to 12 again, which uh, is called the one complete rotation of the second needle. And once the second needle completed a complete rotation, it equals to one minute. And one and when that happened, this medium sized needle will in, will move by one. So which means that a complete rotation of a second needle equals to sixty seconds equals to one minute. Okay. Now. What happened when the medium sized needle complete make a complete rotation which means from 12 to 1 to 6 and back to 12 again. Now when the minute sized needle complete makes a complete rotation it, it, it is equal to 60 minutes. Now when that happened the small needle here at 11 the hour needle will move towards 12. So, which means a complete rotation of a minute needle is equal to 60 minutes and equal to 1 hour. Okay, okay children, I hope today's video will be, will, be, uh, will be helpful to you to understand more about minutes, hour, days, week, year, and months in a year. I will see you in the next video. Do, do support do support my videos by liking this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and goodbye. Bye.